There's no question about it. Negros Occidental is a culinary haven, and when you talk of Negros as a food trip destination, of course, you cannot miss its capital, the city of Bacolod. With a gastronomy that speaks volumes about the history and culture of Bacolod, it is impossible to scour its streets and try its food without breaking out into a sweat with the biggest smile. Experience dictates that one of the best ways to try some of the best food any place has to offer is to follow the lines of locals, which is how we found some of the longest standing, multi-generational, and busiest restaurants in Bacolod. Located in the northwestern coasts of the island of Negros, the coastal city of Bacolod offers some of the freshest seafood you'll ever try in the country. And one of the locals' top of mind restaurants to get them from is Gina's Seafood Restaurant. Yan ang secret sa mga atento yung negosyo mo is love mo yung ginagawa at saka passion mo talaga. Napakainin yung mga customer ng masasarap na pagkain. Uwi sila ng buso. Yun ang passion ko talaga. Due to its wide variety of seafood dishes and fast, efficient service, Gina's has become one of the most popular paluto, meaning cook-to-order spots, enjoying quite a following despite being relatively new in the game. If you're planning to come here, best bring a lot of patience as this place becomes packed with hungry diners, especially during the lunch rush. Their display is playful, alluring, and will start a guessing game with you and your friends, figuring out the names of the fish on the counter. Owned by Gina Octavio, Gina's restaurant serves 200 to 300 kilos of fresh seafood every day to their customers. They make sure to get only the freshest catch and produce, which they sell out of every night. Ganito pa pumili ng fresh na diwal, dapat buhay. Nakalabas ito ang kanyang yanon. Sa isda naman, pag pumili ka, yung kulay niya parang red, parang pinkish, hindi na siya white. Matingkad yung mata niya pag fresh. At saka yung hasang niya, kulay red pa. Ito pala yung aking chef, si Arvin Mori. Still single and available. Masarap magloto to, masarap magmahal. Isa sa mga reasons why. Ginas is best in seafood. We need to make sure that we know where we are going to eat the items that we see here. And the food that we cook is good for the food. Two foods that we can eat here are the food that we can eat here. The food that we can eat here and the food that we can eat here. Most of Gina's staff have been with her for a while and she treats them like family. Tumatagal yung mga tao hanapin dito. Number one, yung kontrato ko sa kanila. Parang hindi sila ibang tao. Parang magkapatid lang kami. Isa sa mga secrets yun. Magdala ka ng business. Another dish that comes to mind when you talk about Bacolod is the chicken in a cell. Every chicken in a cell restaurant across Negros has its own secret ingredient or technique, but they all follow a basic pattern. Marinate the chicken in native vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, clemency, and anata oil for hours. The meat is then basted with more anata chicken oil throughout the grilling process. Chicken in a Sal has become quite popular not just in Bacolod, but all over the country since Manokan country started. But of course, nothing beats going to a delicacy's original source, so we went to Manokan country and found ourselves looking for a space in one of the OG Chicken in a Sal restaurants there, Ida's Chicken. Hey. 
Aidas has drawn crowds for its delectable chicken in a cell even before Manokon country came to be. Everyone has their own favorite in a cell restaurant, be it for sentimental value or that one place that makes it less sour than the other, or one that makes the meat more tender. There are so many elements that go into selecting your personal choice. Actually, when we eat the inasal, we don't have any other things. If we eat the technique, we eat the style, we don't have any other things. And when we eat the sangkap, we don't have any other things. 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 This is for the Aidas. It's juicy. Yun yung talagang timplang Pinoy, timplang Ilonggo, di ba? Masarap, malutong, tama lang yung timplang. Sa normal na araw ng Aidas dito, naabot kami ng 500 heads. Sa so pagmaskara, abot kami ng 800 heads, so 1,000 heads, depende sa araw. It's really good. I've tried other um, inasals before, like my previous trip to Bacolod, but this one is by far the best inasal. At the end of the day, you are looking for a chicken that is juicy, well-seasoned, tender, and flavorful, especially when enjoyed with cinnamon vinegar and cups of steaming rice drowned in chicken oil. Namit! You won't be able to eat inasal without the chicken oil. Just as Ida's has become one of the locals' top choices when it comes to chicken in a cell, so has Sharon's trademark kansi become an integral part of the community's collective memory. Described as a cross between the Filipino sour sinigang and bulalo, even though it's a completely different dish. It's made of beef bone broth soured with locally sourced batuan and endemic fruit abundant in negros. While ingredients such as beef shank, bone marrow, lemongrass, and jackfruit help give its intense, iconic flavor, resulting in one of the heartiest, most comforting soups you will ever have in your life. Located at Barangay Villamonte in Bacolod, Sharon's Kansi House was started by Delia Perez in 1985. Since then, it has earned a spot among the world's top 50 street food masters, which has not only solidified its reputation, but also helped put Bacolod on the map. We featured Sharon's back in 2019, but we just couldn't miss checking in on them again on our latest visit. I guess what takes our country special is how long we've been doing it on a consistent basis. Nasa tagal ng cook yung dun mo talaga na papalabas yung flavor na kasi. If you rush the cooking process, hindi siya ganon ka consistently flavorful yung ano. If bitin siya ng two hours parang malalaman mo talaga. Parang di pulang pato na parang bitin pa siya. Pero when you reach around more than six hours of cooking, parang na achieve mo yung tenderness ng meat tapos na pipiga mo talaga yung flavor part of it siguro din na nostalgia factor no kasi yung mga customers namin dati yung mga ano pa lang mga preteens or mga adolescents pa lang tapos ngayon buong ablek sila they have families of their own na rin kasama na rin talaga yung mga mga bata nila my dad used to take me here when I was a little kid and actually he would order a bowl for each of us. So each of us would, would finish a, a whole bowl. We went here and the first sip of the soup was just, it, it just lit up my soul. They made us try another crowd favorite dish, crispy kansi, which easily became popular amongst their customers. In the early days of the restaurant, my grandfather used to have his friends over. My Lola, being the good housewife that she is, she'd cater to his friends. So, sabi nila, ano makakain dyan, pre? Sabi ni Lola, may kansi kami. Sabi nila, nakakaumay na kasi palagi naman kami nandito, tapos lagi nalang kansi yung kinakain namin. So, wala ka bang bago dyan? So, he thought of, why not fry the kansi, di ba? Pick up the soup, add a little more spices to it, tapos i-fry ko kaya ito para para hindi sila makumay. Even though we've been here in the business for 40 years na, and we're still the same. Uh, 40 years from now, it's still the same. The, the way of cooking is the same. So thankful na marami pa rin ang kapitorize sa amin. 
in essence, gusto rin namin ma-continue yung legacy ni Lola, ni Lolo. What they started here, what they've tried to build. So, it's a tribute to them na rin. So what's the secret to enjoying longevity in Bacolod's food scene or anywhere else in the world for that matter? Well, as Gina's, Ida's, and Sharon's stories will tell us, the answer is quite simple. Honest to goodness food without frills, slow cooked, done well, and done consistently. Of course, pride, soul, and love go a long way too.